Hi, now we are going to discuss on uh, Borane, so which is a very important topic uh, uh, for the CSIR and uh, gate exam purpose. Okay, right now, so we have uh, the important uh, Borane clusters, so those are Closo, Nido, Arachno, Hypo, and Clado. So, in that very common are Closo, Nido, and Arachno. Okay, so Hypo and Clado are some of uh, uh, so they are rare in the nature okay so whatever so we have uh, different kinds of approaches and different kinds of equations uh, to determine and these uh, borean clusters okay so if you observe n plus one is that means uh, uh, n plus one and n plus two n plus three n plus four and n plus five so they are resembling if uh, n plus one is there that is close so if n plus two is there that is nido if n plus three is that is arachno if n plus four is hypo n plus five is clado so this is one approach is based on uh, so number of uh, uh, paired, paired electrons okay so uh, that we can discuss in the latter sections of this lecture and uh, if you observe 14n plus 2 so this is another approach so determine uh, boring clusters for transition elements okay so if uh, for 14n plus 4 is there that is nido and 14n plus 6 is there that is arachno and 14n plus 8 that is hypo and 14n plus 10 that is clado okay and uh, we have another approach another equation that is uh, 4n plus 2, 4n uh, series. So that is if uh, 4n plus 2 there, so that uh, indicates a close. So if 4n uh, if, uh, plus 4 that indicates Nido and 4n plus 6 that indicates Arachno and 4n plus 8 that indicates Hypo and 4n plus 10 so that indicates Clado. Okay, so we have different kinds of approaches and uh, different uh, uh, transition elements and main group elements. So based on that, we can uh, determine. Uh, Borean clusters okay so for all of them we have a main rule so by which we are going to uh, determine uh, so these Borean clusters so that is weights rule okay so we have these weights rules applicable for Boreans and carboranes so so Boreans means so if uh, the clusters which contains only boron and hydrogen and so that is simply boron boron cluster if uh, if uh, Boreans contain additionally carbon in them so that is carboran simply okay right so boranes are applicable uh, to determine uh, boranes boranes types and boran structures here okay right so in the process in the process the first step we need to do is to calculate skeletal electron count so skeletal electron count means so the number of electrons are involved in the uh, formation of skeleton so that is uh, boron cluster so that what we need to calculate in the step one okay right so if you observe uh, if uh, if you observe number of BH units are there, so that means each BH unit it uh, it uh, gives contributes two electrons to the Boron cluster. If uh, CH unit is there, then it it uh, contributes uh, three electrons to the Boron uh, cluster. If additionally if one hydrogen is there, then that uh, that contributes one electron. That means if uh, more than the borons and more than the carbons if hydrogens are there that means additional hydrogens are there in the given borane then each hydrogen additional hydrogen contribute one electron okay and anionic charge in the cluster borane cluster also contributing to the skeletal electron count so that means if uh, one anionic charge is there that means minus one is there on a given borane cluster so we need to add one electron to the skeleton electron count if two are there minus two is there on the cluster so we need to add uh, two electrons in the to the given uh, borane cluster okay right now so what we need to do the skeletal electronic count so total electrons we should count so that means if uh, a number of borane boron hydrogen units are there so for example if two boron hydrogens are there that means BH units are there then we need to multiply with 2 so 2 into 2 like that so plus 3 into uh, number of CH that means CH units plus 1 additional hydrogen 1 into additional hydrogens plus an anionic charge on a cluster so this total the sum of them gives skeletal electronic count of boranes okay in the next step that is second step we need to calculate number of electron pairs. So number of electron pairs equals to skeletal electron pair of the boron cluster by 2. So we need to take this formula. Okay. So from this, so n with number of electronic pairs. So n equals to number of vertices that equals to number of borons and number of 
carbon atoms okay so by this we can calculate n plus 1 n plus 2 n plus 3 n plus 4 and n plus 5 and uh, by which we can uh, determine uh, the given boron is belongs to close or nido arachno like that okay